greetings to you, lady. What? I bring you a study. She can grant you whatever you wish. I'm sure. Do you doubt me? A study listens, heals, makes your dreams come true. Oh, a study, goddess and queen of the heavens, bring this woman true happiness. Oh. Stop, my friend. It's your lucky day. What do you want? Astarte will solve your problems. I haven't got any. You're a lucky man, but do you have everything you need? I have a house, a family, food to eat, and my own work. What more could I possibly desire? Are you rich? No, but... Would you like to be rich? How? Using Astarte's oil. If you put this on your scalp every evening for a month, you will become very rich indeed. How much does it cost? Just make an offer to Astarte, and it's yours. Can I try it now? No, you have to put it on every evening before going to bed, and be patient. Yes, I will be. Up, no, Amy. Perhaps we'll be luckier this evening. You've been saying that for the last month, Zachariah. If you don't find any fish this time, I'm leaving. That's right. I'll go back to my father and take the child with me. There's always something to eat at his house. Astarte, bestow your happiness on those who come this way. <laughs> oh, Astarte, goddess and queen of heaven above, make this woman happy. Savior of our soul. 
If you have a dream, she will make it come true. But I'm a Hebrew. That makes no difference. She helps everyone. There must be something you'd like to have. Well, what must I do? You should know that a star is generous with those who are generous. You know what I mean. Make an offer to the great goddess. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Huh. Incense? Oh, a starty. Well, what about that offer? Quick, call the others. This is an imposter. Are you still here? Huh? No, Amy. Go back home. Don't you see he is an imposter? <laughs> And as for you... Ah, the truth is, Rabbi, I was just trying to... Now I'll show you, and I'll teach you not to mess about with our faith. Uh. 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 Go and get... Powerful Astarte. Oh, what an ignominious end she came to. Wait. And trust in God. Let's hope he sends us a tangible sign.
feel the lake hide its fishes again tonight? Boats are empty. It was as if we were cursed. There were no fish, none at all. It doesn't matter, they'll return. You'll see. Do you still love me? Let me go with you, Simon. Go out into the deep water and cast your nets. But master, you've toiled all night long and caught nothing. Simon, do as I say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you've lost your faith in the Lord. Master, the people are very hungry, and their faith is not sufficient to satisfy so many mouths. Your Father in Heaven knows what you need. Don't be anxious about life, what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, or what you shall wear. First of all, seek God's kingdom and His righteousness, and then all these things shall be yours. in the net. Uh, 
Can somebody help me? Look! That can't be! I've never seen so many fish in all my life! The boats are full of fish! I shall never forget today. Neither shall I. That was a miraculous catch. We're leaving our boats to you. What? When are you coming back? We don't know. And what are you going to do? We're going with the master. The master? Hey! The master is leaving! Follow you wherever you go. Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus was not alone. The apostles that he had personally chosen and called one by one to stand by him were his companions and friends more than anyone else. The apostles were 12, just like the 12 tribes of Israel. Apostle is a Greek word meaning envoy. Jesus sent them out to announce the good tidings. Jesus gave to Simon, the fisherman from Galilee, the name Peter, or in Greek, Kephas, which means rock. He was the witness of Jesus' passion and resurrection and played a role of great authority in the early Christian community. He died on the cross, hanged upside down in Rome in the time of Nero. Andrew, Peter's brother, died a martyr in Scythia, today's southern Russia. He too was hanged on a cross. James, the greater, was the son of Zebedee and John's brother. He was one of the first martyrs and was beheaded on the orders of King Herod Antipas in the year 42 AD. John, James' brother, was Jesus' dearest disciple. He is thought to have written the fourth gospel, two letters of the New Testament, and the book of Revelation. He died at a very old age on the island of Patmos. Philip, of Greek origin, died a martyr in Phrygia, a region of Asian Turkey. Bartholomew was the nickname of Nathaniel, the disciple mentioned in John's gospel. He died a martyr in India, skinned alive and then beheaded. 
Matthew, the author of the first gospel, was a publican, that is, a tax collector, and worked in Capernaum. He was also known as Levi. Thomas was known as Didymus, which means twin. He was skeptical, but he died a martyr in India. James the Lesser, son of Alphaeus and possibly related to Jesus, was the leader of the Church of Jerusalem and was stoned to death in the year 62 AD. Simon was called the Zealot. In Greek, it means zealous. Judas, called Thaddeus, in Hebrew brave, died a martyr in Persia. Another disciple was Judas Iscariot. His name perhaps means from Cariot, a town in Judea. He betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. After repenting of his betrayal, he hanged himself. The disciple Matthias, chosen by the 11 other disciples, took his place so that the number of apostles fixed by Jesus remained the same. These 12 Israelites were simple and even rough people. After Jesus called, they left all their possessions and went after the master only out of the love they felt for him. They won the world in Jesus' name.